Praise the Lord, friends, once again. My name is John Nathan Owora. I work with Scripture Union in Northern Region as the Regional Ministry Coordinator. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be sharing with you again a few things. Today, I am specifically talking to candidates. You are a candidate. You are a primary seven candidate. You are a senior four candidate. You are a senior six candidate. Or you are a candidate that is finishing a certain level of education. Like I usually do, I use the acronym for passing on messages. We are children of God. In Scripture Union, one of the things we do, we teach the Word of God. And the Word of God we teach in many different ways. This one is a life skill. A skill for behavior change. Who is a candidate? Before we look at who a candidate is, let us bow our heads and pray. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for the opportunity to share this life skill with those who are watching, those who are listening. Open our hearts and minds that we might be able to understand this in depth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So who is a candidate? I'll use the acronym C or the abbreviation C, A, N, D, I, D, A, T, and E. I work with young people. I work in schools. But we can be candidates at whatever level. <laughs> you can be a candidate of death as well. <laughs> um, but that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about senior four, primary seven, or senior six. Or maybe at the last level of a certain course. So he's a candidate. C, a candidate is a champion. By the time you reach that level, you are a champion. Man, it's not easy to reach primary seven. It is called primary living examinations, PLE. So you're a candidate for primary living examination. You are a champion. You've passed through P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6. Now you're in P7. You've passed through senior one, senior two, senior three. Now you're in senior four. You've passed through senior five. Now you're in senior six. You are a candidate and therefore that makes you a champion. So who is a candidate? A candidate is a champion. Who is a candidate? A candidate is able. A is for able. The fact that you pass through senior two and you're in senior four, you are able to make it beyond that. The fact that you pass through senior five, you're able to make it through senior six. The fact that you pass through all of primary level, you're able to make it beyond, uh, beyond primary seven. So you are able. Let no one tell you you're useless. No. Your head stores information. Whatever is in your head can be dispensed while you're writing. Whatever is in your head will come out when you need, when you need that information. Therefore, a candidate is able. A candidate is able. N, a candidate is noble. A noble person is a person who is above every other person. <laughs> you're like a queen, you're a king, you are noble, you are nobility. So when you are in a when you're in a candidate class, you know that you are the, at the epitome, you are at the highest level of that class. The opportunity of gotten to reach that level and your candidate makes you of higher class. So you are a king, you are a queen at that level. So don't treat yourself like a useless chap, like you are takataka, like you are nothing. I cannot believe you find a candidate in a bar drinking. You are at the level, at the highest level. You find a candidate doing funny things. You are waiting to move from this level to the next level. You are a candidate and therefore you should remember that you are noble. A candidate is determined. D is for determination. If you are not determined, drop out. But the fact that you've reached that level, please be determined. You could be a candidate at an institution. Please be determined. It takes determination to make a candidate. Now we have candidates who are not determined, but I'm not talking about those, those ones. I'm talking about candidates who are determined. And a candidate is also intelligent. You, can't, you didn't get that level by chance. You didn't get that level by games. 
you are intelligent. God didn't create a brain and put in cow dung. There's no cow dung in the brain. There's a brain there. Some of you think you're moving around with a big head, just empty, hollow, occupying space. No, there's a brain, and it's a brain that makes intelligence. So please remember that you are intelligent. <laughs> and because you're intelligent, you're a person of influence. I, intelligence brings out influence. At every level of intelligence, there's a level of influence. And an influence means there are people who are following you, and they want to be like you. You have to behave well. A candidate, D, is a person who is decent. Some of you put on clothes like materials are finished. You know, those of you, they give you a good uniform, you can't cut it short. As if, as if you are the one who, are you the one who made those, those uniforms? Huh? You think you are, more important, you are more intelligent than the teachers. The teachers have their level of intelligence. That's why they made school rules and regulations. So please, dress decently. I have heard of candidates who have been chased from the examination room just because of indecency, because of dressing badly. Some of you put on skirts. You are candidate. If you see a young girl putting on a skirt long enough only to cover the subject matter. That's dangerous. You may never go through as, as, as they may fire from the examination room. And once they chase you from an examination room, <laughs> that's the end of you. So please, dress decently. Dress decently. Have your hair decent, have your nails decent, have your teeth decent, have your dress code decent. A candidate is decent. A candidate is someone that appreciates, A is for appreciation. Appreciate and thank God for the level that he has brought you. Thank God that I am in senior four, I'm in senior six, I am in primary seven. Thank God for that level. There are many who would have loved to reach there. Please appreciate. A candidate is somebody who is teachable. T is for teachability. Don't behave like people who have a lot of time. Don't behave like, you know, you have the whole year. No, you don't have the whole year. For crying out loud, you have a shorter period towards your exams. So please, learn to be teachable. Learn to learn. That's the word. Learn to learn. Be teachable. Sit down and learn. A candidate, the last one is E, is somebody who is extraordinary. <laughs> You're not ordinary. You see, there's ordinary and then there's extraordinary. Extraordinary means you're beyond ordinary. That is who a candidate is. So if you're a candidate, you are extraordinary. You are not normal. If you're in senior four, you're not like senior two or senior three. If you're in senior six, you're not like senior five. If you're in P7, you're not like P1. That's why the way you spend your time tells us whether you're really a candidate or not. So a candidate is extraordinary. So this time that I'm speaking, I'm speaking specifically to candidates. You should remember that you are a champion, that you are able to go to the next level, that you are noble, you're a person of nobility, of higher class. You should be, remember that you're determined and be determined. You should remember that you are intelligent. And because you're intelligent, you are a person of influence. Remember that you, are, you should be decent in the way you move, in the way you present yourself. Also remember that to appreciate God, remember to appreciate God and appreciate people who have contributed into your life, who have contributed for you to get to that level. And remember, you should be teachable. And lastly, you are a person who is extraordinary. If you remember these words, I remember that you're a candidate, we will meet. The sky will not be the limit. The sky will only be a stepping stone for you to get the next level. Thank you so much. God bless you. Till next time, I love you guys. <music>